Television Works Entertainment is proud to present Sitting on a Tailgate Podcast with your host, DJ Big Country. Yes, another Wednesday right here. Sit on a tailgate. I'm your host, Big Country. You know that song means it's Mike Tiller Fest. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful Wednesday right here in Central Florida. Hanging with you here on Sitting on Tailgate. We got an interview this evening with Melissa Ramsky. She's actually a Nashville recording artist and an actress, believe it or not. So we're going to be talking with her shortly. And, uh, yeah, I'm gearing up for uh, for Biketoberfest. I'll be heading out to uh, World Famous Cabbage Patch tomorrow. I'll be there till Sunday. You can come out and check me out. I'll be there from high noon to about 3 in the morning. <laughs> Saturday is the world-famous Coastal Wrestling. If you're interested and you want to get signed up for it, make sure you check it out. Be there at 11 o'clock. Ladies, you can win tons of money. It's all happening in the world-famous beach, Daytona Beach, Florida. About 40 minutes just outside of Orlando. Straight up I-4. So how's everybody doing tonight? Let me uh, load one of her songs here for you so we can play for you real quick before she calls. Da 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 da. I'm getting fired up. I'll probably be lucky if I get three or four hours of sleep in the next four days. <laughs> All right, let's play this song here. This is Melissa Ramsky. This is who we're going to be interviewing tonight. This song is called Lace and Diamonds. Get bored. There's a million of you and one of me, so who needs who more? You'll do anything in this world to buy me over. At the end of the day, I'll throw you away and count my losses, which is none. Mm, I'm just having. You can call me a gold digger in this case, I disagree. It's not my fault, these men get whatever my blue eyes see. And at the end of the day, I walk away with everything, and you'll get. Mm, I'm just having fun I'll never understand this love thing Thank you. 
Oh, yeah, that's Melissa Ramsky right there for you. We're going to be interviewing her tonight on the show. Hanging with you on a Wednesday night right here in Central Florida. Sitting on a tailgate. I'm your host, Big Country. So, yeah, we're gearing up for Biketoberfest. It's getting ready to kick off tomorrow. Everything out in Daytona Beach. Uh, we're, well, we'll be at the uh, world-famous Cabbage Patch, which is just outside of Daytona in Sam Sula, if you know the area. And uh, Cabbage Patch is one of the oldest bars in Central Florida. We got all kind of bands out there, all kind of activities going on. So if you want to check it out, you can go to cabbagepatchbar.com. Check out their brand new website. They just got their brand new website up. So go check that out because they also got some more events coming up in November. Also, if you need camping, you can get on their website and contact Roger, who runs everything out there, and he'll get you set up on camping and whatnot. So what's been going on, people? Not much on this end. Just chilling like a villain, as they say. Um, uh, a lot of stuff been happening in the news. Oh, football. We'll talk football real quick. Uh, you heard what's going on with the uh, quarterback in uh, Florida, the Gators. He's been suspended for a year for using a substance not deemed... Okay, by the NCAA, NCAA. They consider it a, I guess, an enhancing performance drug, even though he got it over the counter, but still. And then he gets on the news and starts boohooing and crying and wham, wham, wham. You know, let me tell you something, people. I don't care if you're a Gators fan or not. I don't particularly like the Gators, but I'm still saying anybody that's been playing football since high school. Knows you don't take any kind of performing, hands performing drugs at all when you play football. I don't care what it is. If you got to take Advil or aspirin or something, you better ask your coach or trainer first because it'll show up in a drug test when you have to take a drug test. So he can't sit there and say, I didn't know. What am I going to do? You can cry all he wants, it ain't going to make no difference. Because he knows better. He should have known better. Now LSU, or uh, Gators has got to play LSU this weekend. And their defensive back was just arrested this morning for attempted battery or something, I guess, with a firearm. Don't know the whole details. It's just kind of trickling in a little bit as we go. But, uh, so... I'm telling you, football players, they're going to start cramping down on you. And if you don't, because you got to remember, you're in the eyes of the public now. Once you hit the college level, you're in the eyes of the public. And anything you do, any actions that you do, anything you say, also reflects on the school and the team that you play for. So... Yeah, it's going to be bad. Oh, we got our caller. Hold on. Joe's Bar and Grill, can I help you? Howdy, it's Melissa Ramsky. Melissa who? Melissa Ramsky. Ramsky who? <laughs> oh, I'm ah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you had, you had me there for a I, I did. You thought you had the wrong number, didn't you? I was like, well, the one hundred. Oh my gosh, did I write the wrong number down? <laughs> knowing you, you nice. pro knowing you, you probably did because you're always doing something. You never pay attention. You're always gotten twenty million things going on at one time. I really, yeah, I know that's the truth. I really do. That's why I was like, crap, I must have written that down wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's it oh, going? Gosh. How you been? What you been up to? Oh, I've been extremely busy, no sleep, just work, 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 fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so, so I've been, um, do it. What's the latest news for Melissa Ramsky? I know you've been, uh, you've been wanting to say something, but you can't. So just kind of give us a little details or a hint of it. Okay. Well, um, I actually recently, um, just, um, 
got hired on with uh, for a new upcoming country music play, and um, they have some really awesome names in the cast, like Julie Roberts and Matt um, uh, Keeson and um, Brad Martin, and then um, we're going to be actually in Panama City November 22nd at the Marina Center um, from 3 and then on at, seven, at 3 and at 7.30. So uh, that's going to be fun. I'm doing, I'm going to be a makeup artist. And so um, I'm going to be helping them out um, throughout the rest of the year. So I'm really excited about that. And so that, that was my big news. I haven't been able to tell anyone yet. So I'm, but it, I just, it's just been official. I signed the contract, so now I can. Uh, so how long is this uh, contract for? Um, it's just for the rest of this year, and we have a couple of dates in November and then some dates in December, and we might maybe have some more in January, but for right now, that's it. But I'll obviously be posting on my Facebook, like always, uh, everywhere I'm going and what I'm doing so everyone can see, and, and I really just hope everyone can come out and check it out, because that would be awesome. It's going to be a really awesome, awesome play. We're at in Panama City. Panama City is about, uh, about two and a half hours northwest of Orlando here. So if people in Orlando yes. wants to go to what, uh, where do they got to go to in Panama City? They need to go to the Marina Civic Center. And um, I, I don't know exactly where that's located at, but, uh, yeah, the Marina Civic Center. And we'll have a show at 3 and then a show at 730. How would somebody go about getting tickets for this? You know what? I'm not sure, but I I'm bet if they probably check out their Civic Center site, um, they'll, and they'll probably be, the closer we get to it, they'll probably be advertising it. But um, I, my, my best guess is I'll go to the Civic Center site and check it out and see if there's any links. And um, once I find out some more, I'll, I'll obviously post it on my Facebook. So if anyone's in that area or wants to go check it out when I'm there, you know, and they can meet up with me, which would be awesome. I would love that. That sounds good. Am I am I asking too hard of questions for you? Do I need to like uh, like uh, talk about crocheting or uh, or yeah. maybe, or maybe football yeah, or something? Actually, <laughs> actually, if you ask me, if you ask me questions about crocheting, that would be way harder because I do not crochet, well, not at all. And let me ask you something: Are you putting your real estate on hold while you go and do this with the uh, with the play? Um, no, I'm going to be back and forth with it. Um, I'm not going to be gone, you know, for long periods of time. We'll be we'll be gone for a couple of days and home for a few days. So, um, no, I'm still doing that in between. Obviously, music um, and acting is my first passion above anything. So, I'm always going to um, probably put that number one uh, priority over everything. Um, but it's just it's something I love and it's my passion. So, um, if you find something that you love, you need to do it. Um, no matter what never right. give it up right now i seen something on your facebook page about cmt what's going on with you and cmt cmt well um i do have um my a couple of my music videos um uh that have come out previously on cmt.com and then i also have um as real as it gets it is a song that i cut um that heidi swan wrote um and I just absolutely love it. And it's doing really great on Reverb Nation. It's number eight. Uh, I'm number eight on Reverb Nation. And um, uh, I actually have some um, people looking into the song, some industry pros looking into the song. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to really push um, my Reverb Nation site. So I'm asking everyone to come and check it out and uh, listen to the song. Um, but uh, it's, it's doing really great. And also... Um, I was, uh, I, f I found out um, probably a couple days ago that I was on the UK um, Keeping It Country um, Reverb uh, site, and um, I believe Reverb Nation had something to do with that, so that was really awesome. Uh -huh. um, but, yeah, I was like, oh, that's really cool. So, um, and... So I'm, I'm just, um, I'm doing really good, and I've had a, a lot of going on, but I always do. And so, uh, yeah. Now, you're based out of Nashville, right? Yes, I live in Nashville, and um, I'm constantly uh, going to all kinds of events downtown and uh, meeting up with a lot of um, singer and songwriters. And um, I'm actually working right now with 
two really great songwriters, um, and we're working on Debbie and Radon, and we're working on writing some really great songs for hopefully an upcoming um, EP that I'll be having out. Probably, I'm not going to promise you any times, but here, probably <laughs> in the next... <laughs> I can, I'm probably in the beginning of the year sometime. I, I'm going to bet you. But um, I'm also in the middle of the beginning stages of working with Andrew Frelick. Um, we're going to do um, one or two um, songs that we're writing, um, duets. So we're working on that, too. So that'll be awesome. So I'm doing a lot of collab work as well as individual work for just me and um, music and acting, which it keeps me busy, and I love it. Now, I know you were at the Josie Awards here a couple of weeks ago. Have you? Um, what, did you get to play at the uh, CMA Fest pack here uh, in this past summer? I did. I played um, at a couple of places at the CMA Fest. And, um, and then, yeah, like you said, I was at the Josie Awards show, which was so amazing. Everyone did a great job, and it was so much fun. So, and I love, I love it whenever we all get together, all of us artists, and we can hang out and talk to each other and make new connections. So it's always nice. And I always see, you know, um, so many familiar faces. And it's actually really funny because, you know, a lot of times um, there's all the artists that are coming in from out of town. And you talk to them, like, every single day, day in and day out over Facebook. And so when you actually see them in person, you're like, oh, I really know you. <laughs> so it's, it's actually awesome to be able to meet, you know, someone you've been talking to for so long on Facebook and in person. And you're like, oh, you're an actual real real person. That's so cool. <laughs> Well, you need to come. So, you need to come farther down this way to Orlando and get you some gigs down in here somewhere. I do. No, I love Florida. I'm just. I, you know, my family is actually originally from Florida. I was. Um, uh, my grandma lives in Daytona, and I was born in Florida. So, um, you know, I'm a I'm a Florida girl. I love I love me some sunshine. Well, you'll have to call. That's my, that, there we go. That's my new song. I'm going to write something about sunshine in Florida, and then I'm going to go. I'm gonna go to Florida and sing it for you guys. Uh, there you go. You know I'm gonna be in, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be in Daytona in the next couple of days for Biketoberfest, so I'll be down there hanging out. So yeah, you need, you need that's to, awesome. You need to call your family up and say, hey, you know, go over and check out this guy here at the Cabbage Patch. Yeah, I will. So what are, what exactly are you doing? Don't you love how I'm interviewing you now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so what, what exactly are you doing there? I, nev- so you I doing never, I never, I never expect anything from you less, Melissa. <laughs> As long as I've been talking to you, anything changes and everything can change with you. Uh, that's so true. It's so true. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll be at uh, the Cabbage Patch there uh, for three days uh, playing music and hosting and emceeing and uh, doing the uh, coleslaw wrestling. So, yeah, I've been doing Ooh, that. I've been do- I bet that's fun. I be- do you think I should enroll in the coleslaw wrestling? Well, get on down here. You can win a lot of money. <laughs> I actually, I had a friend, I think, who did it last year, and it was actually funny. She posted pictures of it, and so um, I thought that was hilarious. But, um, yeah, that's interesting. She, pl- she, was, she, was, in, she was in the coleslaw yeah, wrestling? Yeah, she actually, yeah, she was actually in the coleslaw. Like, she, she wrestled with this, she's like a small girl, and she wrestled this big, you know, big, bigger girl. And um, it was actually really funny. She posted pictures. You're not, you're not, won. you're not talking about Morgan the spider monkey, are you? I don't know. Morgan, I don't. Morgan, is real there tiny. like a, is there a following for coleslaw wrestling? Uh, you'd be surprised. A lot of people get on YouTube really? and check out the videos and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, the uh, the one that's been wrestling now for the last six years, it's been the uh, the uh, so the, she's been the champ the last six years. Retired last year, and she's going to be there just scorekeeping and hanging out this year. But uh, yeah, she is officially hung up her crown, so we get to crown a new champion this year for Mm -hmm. coleslaw wrestling so but uh yeah i get a lot of uh requests about it and stuff like that people ask me about what's going on (laughs) things like that. that's so cool yeah i didn't realize that there is such a big following for coleslaw wrestling (laughs) oh yeah well it's 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 the only it's the only one here in central florida it's the only place that does coleslaw i mean we got a big pit that's outside there's probably there's uh, there's probably a good seven eight thousand people there on the days that we do the coleslaw wrestling how awesome! So yeah, it's it's that is a, so cool. It's a big event, but uh, so what else you got going on? Any uh, any kind of uh, tour dates you got coming up before the end of the year? Any Christmas albums? Any Christmas songs? What? You know, I haven't really. Um, you know, I, I can't believe. Yeah, Christmas is coming up, huh? So um, <laughs> yeah, you only got but, two months. Two months left. 
I know, it's kind of uh, sneaking up on me. But, um, yeah, I think I might actually um, work on one or two Christmas songs. Um, you know, just, just thinking out loud right now that you brought it up. I actually probably will get into the studio and do a couple. I know um, one of the very first songs that I released with my sister back in 2009 was a Christmas song. And um, it did really great. And uh, I always, growing up, uh, Christmas was my favorite time of the year, and Christmas music, I loved it. I played, I could play it all year round if, you know, I could. And um, I, I, I still have the same CD I listened to since I was um, probably, like, uh, pr- pretty young. Um, probably, like, six <laughs> or seven, I bet. But um, <laughs> You're still young now. What Lori you still, Morgan. St- I know, right? You're still young it's now. Lori, what are you talking about? <laughs> I am. Um, it was Lori Morgan's Christmas CD, and I still play it every single year. I know, like, the words to every single song. I know everything on that CD, and I play it every single year, and I'll never get tired of it. And, um, yeah, it's like, she's been a huge inspiration in my life, um, especially for music. She's definitely an artist who inspired me. And um, I have to say that that Christmas CD has always stuck out in my mind. And when it co- Christmas comes around, it's, it's not Christmas unless I'm playing that CD. So, uh, yeah, Christmas songs, I, I love Christmas songs, so I definitely have probably released at, at, released at least one Christmas song this year. Right. Now, you were in a movie here a couple of years ago with your sister. Tell everybody about that and tell them how they can find it to where they can check it out. Yeah. Well, you can actually um, find it on YouTube, and um, it was um, Careful What You Wish For, and it was actually kind of a holiday-themed um, movie. Um It was me and my sister, and uh, I don't want to give away too much, but um, it was a it's a really cute movie, and it's actually really touching, and it did really well. The director was Tim Vogel, and we filmed it in um, in North Carolina, if I remember right. That was a while back ago, Um, but uh, yeah, it's really cute. You can check it out on YouTube if you Google Melissa Ramsey. Usually, on the like the following videos are. Um, videos that are alike, you'll see it on there. But um, if you Google Melissa Ramsky, uh, careful what you wish for, it should pull up. Okay. How many cups of coffee do you drink in the morning? <laughs> that's, a, that's a funny question. Or how many Red, um, how many Red Bulls do you drink? How many drink? I don't. I don't do um, <laughs> like energy drinks. I just do like coffee a lot and a lot a lot of coffee. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of a coffee addict, but. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I have, like, five cups within, like, a morning. Holy cow. Yeah, I know, right? It's bad. It's so bad. Two cups <laughs> two cups for me, and I'm bouncing off the wall. Really? Uh, now I'm two cups, and I'm like, where's, you know, I'm not feeling anything. Come on. I need some energy here. <laughs> <laughs> but, what, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a coffee addict. So, you we're expecting maybe some music first of the year from your new music. Um... What, um, now I, I just got done playing, uh, Lace and Diamonds for everybody. Everybody seems to like that on the show. Um, it's a good song. Yeah. Um, thanks. What, uh, how long have you been doing music now? I know it's not your how full time. How long have been doing music? I know it's not full time, but I mean, how, when did you start doing music? Um, well, that's kind of a tricky question. I started singing, um, like in the backseat of my parents' car when I was three. And um, I slowly, probably it was about fourth grade when I did my officially, like did my first talent show. And that's when I finally realized that it was a passion and I wanted to follow it. And even at like, you know, uh, such a young age. And um, I think the very first release of anything really big was when I came here back here to Nashville um, in 2009 and my very first release was that Christmas song with my sister so um, I've been singing my whole life but since officially like released music and really started working at it was back in 2009 now I've been um, independently working on music since last year so it was, uh, yeah it was, I believe it was um, around June or July of 2014 is when I went fully independent just myself. Right. Now, so, what um, um, what places have you been playing in Nashville at? Have you been, I'm sure you've probably hit just about every place up on Music Row, right? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, there's so many different places, and not only in Nashville. Um, I've played in surrounding area cities, um, Smyrna, um, 
uh, uh, Tullahoma. There's so many different small towns that uh, you can go play at. Um, so they're everywhere. There's so many opportunities everywhere in Tennessee, and not just Tennessee, ev- everywhere. So, um, but yeah, I'm always playing around. Um, if um, it's not me, I'm probably visiting a friend who has a gig, and then I get up on stage. So you can um, definitely expect surprise. Um, surprise visits on the stage for me most of the time. Um, I love, I have so many musician friends here in Nashville and I go check them out and support them and uh, they're always like, oh, what am I going to have to do to get you on stage? And I'm like, you really don't have to do a whole lot. You really don't have to pull my arm. I'll I'll just walk up right on stage. (laughs) This is true. This um, is true, people. She comes out of the woodwork. (laughs) When you're walking down the street, she'll come out of the walls and just start walking with you in whatever bar you go into. That's where she'll end up and she'll start singing. So, I, you know, it's, it's so true. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I'll never turn it down. I'll be like, oh, you want me to sing? Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I go, I usually go anywhere expecting to sing, even if I don't. Just always to be prepared. And, and it's something I love, so you don't turn or, turn down anything that you love, right? Right, yeah. What uh, Now, exactly what are you going to be doing with the play that you're going to be running with here for the next few months or whatever? What are you exactly going to be doing? I am the makeup artist, so I will be doing all of the makeup for all of the um, for all of the talent, and um, so I'm going to be traveling with them and doing that. And then I also do um, uh, some helping here and there with some uh, other things um, behind the scenes. But for the most part, I'm just um, I'm makeup, which is awesome because actually most people don't realize. Um, I did pageants growing up, and I had to learn. I had to get myself ready, you know, because they didn't allow um, parents right. in the back. So um, what we do is uh, I pretty much just had to learn to do it all myself, hair, makeup, get dressed, you know. There, there's some um, tricky dresses that you have to do. <laughs> but uh, so um, I've actually, you know, I've developed a pretty cool um, makeup skills um, throughout the years, and I've done makeup for um, – talent shows, I've done makeup for pageants, I've done makeup for um, for runway shows, uh, so I've done all types of different kinds of makeup, and I've done theater makeup before, I've been in um, tons of theater productions, so um, yeah, it's, it's something that I'm pretty good at, that I've developed a skill over the years, and that I enjoy doing also, so it's another skill of mine. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's safe to say that you were part of the thespian club back in high school, right? Uh, yes, definitely. I was um, <laughs> part of the, the Glee Club and all of those. I was, but I was also a cheerleader, so I wasn't a nerd. But um, hey, but I, yeah, hey, you don't have to be a nerd to be in a thespian club. You know, that's part of acting and everything. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm joking. Um, no, I absolutely love the art. Um, it's my passion, no matter what it is. So. What do you see yourself doing in the future? Do you see you doing more music? Or more plays and uh, and art theater type stuff. Hmm. That's tricky. Um, music will always be the number one passion for me. Um, I've always loved acting and um, theater, and but um, definitely, if I had to ever choose over um, music over acting, it would probably be music. Have you had anybody approach you yet in music and ask you? What do you want to do as far as a musical career in Nashville? I mean, we're talking about, you know, writers and producers and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure you've oh, come, yeah. I'm sure um, you've come across, you know, certain celebrities or whatever down there that, you know, that you've probably, you know, talked to or whatever. Absolutely. Um, Nashville is like the biggest small town that you'll, you'll ever be in. Um, truly, everyone knows everyone and you meet so many amazing people. And, um, yeah, I've, I've talked to a lot of people about future um, endeavors. And, um, you know, it's, right now I have a couple of things in the works. But, um, you know, I just take it one step at a time and do everything that I want to and everything I can. And I slowly just I, I grow as I go on. And um, it's awesome to see how much I've grown in my music and in my acting Um even since I've moved here back in 2009 and all the accomplishments I've had. And it's really awesome. And um, I was actually talking with my family the other day, and they're like, you know, you do so much. Sometimes you need to sit down and, and step back and 
and appreciate what you have done and where you're at. And um, I have done that lately. And um, yeah, it's it's awesome to be able to sit there and be like, wow, I've done so much in so little time. So, uh, yes, yeah, you, you don't want to run yourself down again like you've already done that here a couple months ago. <laughs> you, have, you have no idea yet. I got... Oh, my God, so sick. And, um, yeah, I've definitely learned to slow down a little bit. And um, I've been, you know, putting my health and myself um, first because sometimes I get so run down because I want to do so much because I'm so ambitious. And that's just the type of person I am. And I have to have my family remind me, hey, <laughs> you have to slow down and take one step at a time. So, um, but, you know, once I do, it's amazing to see the accomplishments I have and um, and know that I'm only growing every day. Well, that's good. What? Um, so what? Uh, where? What can everybody find your music at? Uh, where's your website? Your pages? Stuff like that. Tell everybody where they can go to to get your music. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I have um, a couple of Facebook pages that you can check out. Just type in Melissa Ramsky. Um, I have a band page and a personal page, and I love adding people and talking with them on my personal page, so I don't mind if you, you know, add me as a friend. Um, and also, I have, well, I have, like, every social media site on uh, possible. <laughs> so um, the best thing to do is what I tell everyone is to Google Melissa Ramsky, and you'll see all of my different sites. Um, I also have uh, both of my songs, Keep Dreaming and Life and Diamonds, on iTunes, and um, actually it's a huge list. You can order it off the of CD Baby, um, Google Play, um, like I said, iTunes, so you can check me out there. Um, most of my music is in one location. Um, there, I have YouTube channel, uh, so you can pretty much check me out anywhere that you're on social media. I have Instagram, and I like to take um, more like personal photos on Instagram of me and my family and my daughter and music and behind the scenes things. So if you want to check out behind the scenes of my life, um, usually check out Instagram and I, and most of the time I post everything on Facebook. Right. That's usually my main go-to is my Facebook. Well, I got my co-host here in the chat room. There's a chat room on the program where you can sit here and actually yeah. talk back and forth. And, uh, her name's Sarah Lee and she says hi and she's <laughs> this is kind of a strange situation. I mean, you can help her out and kind of give her some pointers. She, when she started, when she started doing the show with me, she didn't know the first thing about country music. Really, she does not listen to it. She listens to the older classic rock and and okay. uh, you know hip hop and stuff like that. But she says hi, and she's sitting there listening. Give her some ideas. She's also a booking agent here down in Florida, so awesome. she's you know she does uh, um, everything from. Uh, entertainment to comedy because her husband's a comedian, and um, so they do all. She does all kind of bookings and stuff here in Florida. But uh, tell her, you know, what what do you well, give her some ideas of what she should listen to and what to do, and what not to do in country music. And <laughs> I'm just gonna bust your chops here for a minute because I know she's sitting there listening. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you know what? There's not any right or wrong ways. Um, there's so many different. Um, right now, lately, you know, there's so many different, um, things popping, new, new, um, ideas and songs popping up in country music, you know, from bro country, traditional country to modern country. Um, and there's so many different avenues you can take. So truthfully, I mean, I don't really think there's a wrong way or a right way. It's, um, whatever way is the best way for you. <laughs> if that, you know, if that makes any sense, if that helps. Yeah, but, she's, um, she says she still doesn't have any idea about country, but uh, we're... <laughs> I have no we're, idea about country. <laughs> we're still, we're, I'm still trying to, trying to mold her in, uh, to uh, understanding country because being the fact that she is an agent and a booking agent, you know, I figured, you know, that way mm -hmm. it'll help her out as far as some of the artists that we play on Florida Country Radio, you know, where she can... Yeah. Get them down here and get them, you know, lined up with gigs and stuff like that and whatnot. But, uh, well, that's awesome, definitely. Um, yeah, um, uh, really, but there's so many different ways you can go with that, truthfully. And, um, you know, I'm I can't say I'm a pro at booking, uh, because I'm not a booking agent, but, um, but yeah, I'm sure there's absolutely no wrong way of going about. It. So, um, yeah, but yeah, you know, there's so many different new um, 
areas in country music that's come out. Um, and, you know, so, so many people will fight about what's the best, you know, traditional or the bro country. But truthfully, I look at all of them as a whole. And I think country music has grown so much. It really has. And um, there's so many more young listeners now, which is amazing. Um, before, I don't, I don't feel like there was as much... Um, involvement in the youth when it came to country but now there is a lot more and i i love that i think it's amazing and so um it's just going to constantly keep growing and evolving just like any other music genre well but yeah I, yeah i mean it's true but if you if you look back in pa in times past the only thing that really started music was country i mean you had your country and you had your oh absolutely you know you had your rock and roll but i see that nashville is on the verge of a major as they say climate shift i think nashville mm -hmm. i think nashville is trying to corner the market i think they want to be the number one right now just because of the fact of the bro country and stuff like that but then you get a lot of people that are still upset and mad because they don't like the new stuff that's out right now they would still rather have yes. the old country and stuff like that oh by the way she says i didn't teach her a damn thing and she says she likes you better than me because you're nicer so i'm just i'm putting <laughs> Yeah, this is this is, my co this is my co this is my co host here. You know, she <laughs> she just had to come into the chat room and harass me, but uh, you know. That's funny. But uh Oh gosh. Yeah, I think uh I think country music's changing, but uh there's some songs yeah. I like and there's some that, you know, I think could be, you know, put on the back burner on the shelf, yeah. you know, whatever. But uh Yeah. So you know, it's it's everyone's taste and um I feel like it that's with every genre, there's so many, you know, um, there's some people who are like, you know, it, um, you know, that song, is, I don't even know how that song made it out. And then some people are like, oh, I love that song. So it really all just depends on people's taste and, um, you know, where they came from and, you know, if they can relate to that song. You know, there's some so many songs that um, come out and I'm like, I'm really, I don't, I don't get this song. But uh, another person would be like, I can relate to that song so much. So it's really the relatability relatable um myth of the song and um where you are at in your life um at the time being i think yeah i still think it has a lot to do with political though too because oh I mean, yeah. well, well everything has politics right it, yeah. <laughs> yeah because i mean you know back in the days well i wouldn't say back in the days probably meh, seven years ago or so when i was playing in the clubs you know, there was this one person, she brought me up a CD, and she said, you need to listen to this song and check it out because they're going to be huge in the next year. And I didn't have no idea who I was listening to. It was more like a line dance type song. And I asked her, I said, what's this group's name? She says, I went and seen them in concert in Jacksonville the other day. They're called Florida Georgia Line. And lo and behold, they become huge within the next year. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, it's. I, I honestly think Nashville is becoming more political now than anything, really. I mean, mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of artists send their music overseas to, you know, England, the UK, and stuff like that is because they can get their music played over there faster than they can get it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, I think the funny thing is um, it, it works both ways, too, because um, I know I was talking to some friends who live in Canada, and they're like, you know, it's actually funny, I'm bigger here in the United States than I am in Canada. And for me, you know, I feel like it's the other way around. Like, I have... Uh, I'm, have more um, credibility, right. and I'm bigger probably in, like, the U.K. and areas like that. Um, I've grown immensely here, obviously, but, um, yeah, it's kind of funny how artists flip-flop like that, And um, but I think that's, I think it's really cool, but I also think that people from different areas, you're new, and you're something different and exciting, and um, you just have a different viewpoint and um so i think other people are more willing to accept that new and uniqueness because it's something different than they're not used to it if you know what i mean so yeah. i think that's why that kind of happens sometimes too yeah. so tell me let me ask you a question how in the world did you get involved in real estate real estate i don't know you know i've always really loved um, homes, I've always, like, I remember driving around with my uh, mom and my sister looking at homes, and it's just something I've always really loved. Um, I guess I, I love decorating, and I love looking at the different types of houses, <laughs> and um, I eventually um, came across the job 
um, in Brentwood, um, Tennessee, that got me in real estate, and I found out that I was actually pretty good at it, and then I just kind of grew from there, so, <laughs> but, mm-hmm. yeah, I've always, um, I guess real estate's another uh, passion of mine. You'll find that I have many, many, many passions. I was going to say, the next, um, thing you'll be, <laughs> next thing you'll be doing is interior decorating or designing or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love, oh my gosh, um, I'm constantly changing up my, my own house, my interior <laughs> decoration. Like, I'm constantly going to the store and buying different things and new things and switching things out fall and spring and winter. So, yeah, I actually love, I just, I guess I'm a very creative person. So, I love anything where I can use my creativity, whether huh. it be music or designing or makeup. So, well, yeah, um, I'm, I'm, but, crea- yeah. I'm creative too, but that just sounds tiring. <laughs> 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 like I said, I'm, I'm just one of those people is like, I, I get something in my mind and I will not stop until I do it. And um, sometimes I have to have my family be like, hey, Melissa, you're, you're going to like die if you don't stop. <laughs> you know, so I'm like, give me calm down. <laughs> but um, I've always been like that. I've always been an extremely busy and active person. Um, I was involved in a lot of different things growing up, um, 4 H. I was involved in pageants, music. Uh, I took um, voice lessons growing up. So I was constantly on the go. So when I'm not on the go, I'm not used to it. And so I'm constantly finding something else to do and get into. And so I think that's where it comes from. I was constantly busy, constantly doing things I love. So that's what I'm used to (laughs) doing is constantly being busy. Yeah. Is your mom listening to the show tonight? I think she is. Yeah, she called me today and was like, I'm so excited to hear it. I'm going to tune in. So, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. (laughs) (laughs) Hi, Mom. (laughs) Come and see me in Daytona, Mom. (laughs) (laughs) I'll put you in the coleslaw wrestling, Mom. (laughs) (laughs) She's extremely supportive. She's my number one fan, don't you know. So, um, I love her to death. And she's, she's so funny and sweet. So, that's a shout out to you, Mom. <laughs> you got any uh, older brothers or sisters or younger? I do. I have one older sister, and um, so her name's Mindy. And uh, but I, uh, it was just me and Mindy growing up. So shout out to Mindy. Yeah, shout out to Mindy. She's probably listening too. <laughs> She didn't. And my dad's probably listening to it too. Shout out to dad. shout out to dad. I guess Mindy didn't get the uh, the music bug like you did, huh? No, she actually we um we sang together for the longest time. We, it was called, we were called the Ramses. We released um we released a CD together, oh, and okay. we also released a Christmas single together. Um, so you can you can actually um buy the CD off of iTunes, and we have two music Christmas music videos. We sang um, two Christmas songs. One was a single, um, a Winter Wonderland, and then the other one was for a um. Uh, animated movie that we were doing with, that we were involved in and we did the soundtrack for it and it was it happened to be a Christmas movie so like I said I'm really big into Christmas so um, yeah we've done actually a lot of things together and she's really big into acting she's an amazing actress so um, but yeah, yeah she yeah, definitely she got was the in the music mo- yeah she was in a movie with you yeah mm-hmm yes and um and then also, um, like I said, she's she's an amazing actress, and she, we've we've been able to help each other out a lot. And she was in pageants with me um, growing up, and so. Um, but yeah, she's she's very much like me, always constantly keeping busy, and um, she's extremely talented. Is it getting cold in Nashville yet? You know it. Uh, it's been kind of like a little weird. I think the weather's a little bipolar right now um, <laughs> <laughs> because it was kind of cold, and then there's a week that it was really nice and warm, and then it'll be cold again. So, but right now it's been gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we just started pulling the 80s here now, so we're starting to calm down, and it's starting starting to be like in the 60s at night. So we're doing good. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that was about us. It, it it varies, but we're between the 60s and 70s and 80s. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm not going to take up any more of your time because I know you're running 100 miles an hour. It sounds like you're running 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I, I am always constantly, but, but uh, I always have time to stop and, and hang out and chat. Plug your music and your page one more time before I hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, just remember, you can always check me out on um, Facebook and um, also check out my Reverb Nation site. Um, you can Google me. I have all my music videos out. Um, my, my songs are on iTunes. Um, 
So, and then just always stop by and say hi to me. I love it. All righty. Well, I appreciate you talking to me tonight, dear. The Melissa Laramski, make sure you go get her music downloaded off of iTunes. We want to thank her for uh, talking with us tonight, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you again soon. Make sure you check out her music right here on Florida Country Radio when we broadcast that. You can check out her on our pages at our website, WBCW Radio. Also, we're on Twitter. We're on Facebook, so you can get her music just about anywhere. I appreciate you for calling here. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for having me. Have a good night. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right. right, Bye. So that was Melissa Ramsky. She's uh she's got all kind of stuff going on right now. But um Yeah, she's uh she's always staying busy from all, uh, every time when I get a chance to holler at her, she's doing something different, but uh I guess that's good. Hey, when you're young, you might as well you know, keep doing it and uh keep uh keep at it cuz uh you only get one shot in life to uh to uh, go for your dreams and you uh always want to make sure you uh chase your dreams. But um um let's see. Uh next week we're going to be interviewing another artist that uh will be on our show, Aaron Eater. She was actually um she won female artist of the year here at the Josie Awards here couple weeks ago um we'll throw her song in here real quick and let you check it out this is a uh, a sneak peek of uh next week right here uh, who we're interviewing this is aaron eater it's called a strong shot of you check it out
Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be Erin Eater next week on our show. She's uh, out of Nashville, also a music artist. We'll be uh, interviewing her next Wednesday for our show. Don't forget, this Saturday will not be on air. Uh, we normally do a Saturday morning show called the Saturday Morning Sync Call with uh, BC and Sarah Lee. We will not be on the air Saturday morning because I will be working in Daytona, but uh, you can definitely check out uh, our best of shows. You can go to uh, WBCWRadio.com or check us out on Facebook, Florida Country Radio, and uh, listen to uh, one of our shows that we have done in the past. I think you'll really enjoyed it. And you can also go and check out anytime our music, uh, our interviews, anytime at uh, WBCW Radio. You can, uh, you can listen to us live like you are right now, or you can always get them on demand anytime you feel like it. So uh, definitely uh, go check those out. Also, if you got any questions, comments, or concerns about our show, you want to hear somebody in particular to uh, interview, or anything in particular on one of our music shows, that you, uh, music that you want to hear, or if you know an artist that's looking to get their music out, shoot us an email at actionworksmusic at gmail.com. We can uh, definitely uh, check it out and get it on air, on rotation for our shows. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So um, that's about all I got that I can think of. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to be gearing up for this weekend for Biketoberfest out at the Cabbage Patch. But, uh we're going to throw a song in here real quick before we uh, sign off because we got a few seconds here. Check this one out. This will get you fired up for the weekend for Biketoberfest right here. WBCW Networks. Girl of mine, riding high through the pines in the moonlight. If it shines on the dust flying off the tires, yeah, it's that time. I know all about it, I'm about it. That if you ain't out of the streets and bound to the bricks, you've been out and down in a pit full of mud. Where the sticks won't cut, they never carry fits, whiskeys, and milk jugs. But I live it, love it. Raised with these ways, you can't tell me nothing about my place. I ain't did, I done done. And from moonlight to moonshine, I'm country. Moonshine, tall pine, down the southern road. Summer breeze, suntan lines on her body keeps teasing me. Windows down, sun fall, relaxing by the shade tree. Always got the shotgun when she wanna ride with me. Country girl and boy in the luscious of geography. Down a southern road, twisting, sipping on some monster green. Moonshine, smile, look at all the possibility. Love it when you roll with me. Down home, beauty queen. Taking in the scenery, no matter where it's taking me. Burning down the back roads till they gotta bury me. On the rum mentality, so you wanna label me. Pass the jar back, sip, sipping on some moonshine. Tall pine, down a southern road.
Oh, yeah, another Wednesday night right here for you. Sitting on the tailgate, I'm your host, Big Country. We're going to sign off for tonight. Thanks for hanging with us. Don't forget to check us out again next Wednesday night right here. Same time, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central right here. Sitting on the tailgate, also our show, Saturday morning, Cinco with BC and Sarah Lee. Every Saturday morning, starting at 10 a.m. Not this week, though, because we'll be in Daytona Beach. But make sure you check us out the following week. And then Florida Country Radio, always playing the best new artist in music right here at WBCW Networks. For now, until then, I'm your host, Big Country. I will see you in uh, Daytona for Biketoberfest. Have a good night, everybody. Be safe. Stay good. Or be good at it. Whatever you want to call it. Bye-bye.